Well, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, my screen conked out because I ran out of hard drive space in my recording. Uh, I switched to a bigger hard drive, so we should be good to go now. So we're on our way here to take uh, our our logs in and get rid of them, see if we can raise a little bit of dollars. Um, it's just we're really struggling here. Um, I don't want to make the game get bogged down. We may have to borrow a little money. But we're going to do everything we possibly can at this point. We also cleared a few trees. And we're going to clear a few more trees to, to see if we can have more room to be able to uh, make up some more uh, place to plant crop. Because the more crop we can plant, the more money we'll make. So here we go. You need to come up with about 130 grand to be able to buy our new... Uh, oh, man, come on. To buy our new silo. Huh. How are we going to get rid of these? How are we going to dump the trailer? Supposed to be able to get rid of wood here. Supposed to be able to bring logs here and, and get rid of them. So let's take a look here. See, I may have just screwed everything up already. Uh, I've been doing a lot of that here lately. <laughs> well, that ain't gonna do anything. Done the upgrade, so I know I should be able to get rid of logs here. In the first versions of this game, you couldn't get rid of logs here. So, oh wow, let's see what's going on here. So let's go back over here, let's see if we can pick up this stinking log and put it in the trailer, and we'll see what happens. So, uh, pick it up, back up here. Walk over here like this. I'm gonna turn around. And it fell over the other side. I know it did. I can see it. Huh. Boom, right on the head. And you're dead. Okay. See, there's just nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. I'm getting very frustrated here, people. You're not the only person that gets frustrated when you play these games. I get frustrated a lot myself. So let's go ahead and get back in our tractor. I don't know why this won't accept wood here. I've sold it here before in other versions of the game, and it just doesn't want to doesn't want to uh, be able to take wood products. Even if it can't take wood products, it'll usually tell you wood products are not sold here or approved wood products are not available here. Um, So I'm going to take all these out of here. People, I'm sorry, this is horrible. Uh, we made some really big mistakes here. I'm just going to pile them right over here. 
until I can figure out what the heck we're going to do with them. This one here, back up. Come on. Over here, this one, back up. Come on, walk forward. There you go. Go around the other side. Stack it over here out of the way. I just want it out of the way for right now. I don't care where it goes. I don't care what I do with it. tractors on the skids here. I will tell you right now that doing wood is just not what it seems to be. Grab the trailer right there and all you have to do now is back up, flip her up, you're good to go. Okay. So that was a colossal mess and waste of time. So, see, doing farming by yourself here is just a real, it's a real tough deal. It really is. It's, it's a tough deal to make it all work. And, and when you don't have the right equipment or you don't have the right knowledge, it's hard to do. Lumber is a whole different monkey. So we're going to go back to our uh, house there and make some decisions on what we're going to do. You can see right now, the reason why I want to do this is to, see, to show you how hard lumber is. Um, silage is a little better. Not a lot better, but a little better. Uh, wrapping those bales made us a whole lot more money. But we've, we've gone to be able to do oats. And so what we're going to need to do now is we're going to be able to uh, push ahead here. And let's see what we can do about maybe uh, making everything work for springtime. We've done what we can in the winter time. We've, we've done all we can to to uh, make things work. We're going to have to get some. Uh, I don't want to get. I'm going to get 20 grand. That's enough to be able to get a little fertilizer and do a few other things until harvest time. So we're just going to have to push on through. It's all we can do. Which means we're going to have to either go find a part-time job someplace, or we're going to starve to death, or whatever else it is. But let's finish up the winter. It's November. We're going to jump through ahead a few months. Sometimes you just have to be patient and you have to wait. Wait until it's time to uh, grow or harvest or plant something else. So let's go ahead and make it back to the house here with our uh, trailer and our tractor. And let's see what we can do. Uh, I am not a lumberjack. Repeat, I am not a lumberjack. Uh, I, I used to sell logs there pretty good and it did okay. Um, we've got canola coming up here this next year, and we need to do some landscaping over here. We need to get rid of some of this brush and other things here, put down a bunch of gravel, but I don't want to spend money on the gravel and stuff right now if I don't have to. So let's uh, go ahead and leave things right here. I'm going to hop out. I'm exhausted from trying to do that. I crashed my logs. I, I couldn't get the limbs off of them. I couldn't get them lifted in. Uh, you're not the only person that has a bad day. Almost all farmers have a bad day. See, I can't even get it into the front door of my house. Okay. So here's my bed. Let's sleep. So we're going to come up on December. There's not much we can do in December. We're going to kick right along. We're going to go outside take a quick look. It's a little cold. Not a lot of snow falls in this area here in no man's land. See? Early morning, 9 o'clock is the earliest, latest we can get up. Any earlier, it'd be just dark. Way too dark. And as you can see, our, our uh, canola out here. Let's take a quick look. 
Okay, fertilized 70%, it's still growing. See, not much change. And there won't be over the next couple of months. There just won't be. So we're going to go ahead and kick through. Here's December, early morning. January, $41 of property maintenance fees. It's getting a little bit lighter. See that? We got a little bit there. Grass is still green. Nothing else has really much changed. So we're not even going to go outside. We're just going to go ahead and kick into February here. We probably went outside and, and did a few things. We maybe worked someplace else. We have $19,000. Um, we're not making any money or doing anything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleep until 9 o'clock. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, and there's January, well, we did, you know, see, we don't, see, if you don't go out, you got to kind of go outside and do a couple of things or it won't let you, there we go, so see, it's just springtime, our canola just won't grow until it warms up, it just won't grow until it warms up, so let's go to February and March when it's planting season, you'll start seeing it start to come up, so let's uh, go back in here, and we're just going to go in and see if we can hit February. Come on. I want to get rid of this little dilapidated cabin. It's, just, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, deserve something nicer. We took all of our money and dumped it into here to get this place. We want to try to do something better. That's why we're going to start uh, laying down a bunch of oats and stuff so we can we can improve our situation here okay $42 great demand at farm shop so springtime they're starting to demand wheat and corn and and all kinds of stuff hey if you have it we don't have any hay to sell we sold all of our silos to them let's go out and look at the crop really quickly yeah 82 percent yield bonus is still growing okay see not much we can do so let's go to, uh, let's get kind of February. Now we can start doing something in February, okay? Some months you don't do much. Sometimes the months farmers, now farmers that are big farmers have lots of fields and they can do a lot of other things. They don't get any time off. Uh, yes, they make a lot more money, but it's, it's always something going on. Always. We're just a little farmer. We're just a new farmer. We have one crop, all we can do is wait, we can check it. There's no pests. It's growing. And we're sleeping now, and here we come into March, and what we can do now in March is, oh, look at that. It's going to rain later that day. Today would be a great day, a great day to go out and plant some stuff. So let's take our little uh, trailer here, and we're gonna just going to bring it over here, just dump it off to the side. Hello, Mr. Canola. I know you'll be gonna start growing here pretty soon. Let's dump off the trailer there, and we're going to go pick up our cedar. Let's see what we can do. So we'll back up in here. Remember, our cedar is only three meters wide. It's only about ten foot. It's going to take a lot of passes to do all that. We now have a tractor, though, that is much more powerful. And uh, oh, no, go forward. Back. There we go. All right. Our cedar is a lot more powerful. Than our tractor. Though. So even though it's still going to take us a ton of time, uh, we can do it. We can, we can, we can do it. So we want to plant oats. So we're going to start right here on the edge. We need to hit the space bar. Um, and our cedar is about half full. So we're going to uh, see if we need some more seed. Now, I don't know, I think we had, I think we had fertilizer over here that we bought in these containers. I don't think it's seed. But let's go take a look. We've got some bins over here stored, and what's in it? What's in our, our little bins here? Is it seed or is it fertilizer? All we can tell is just to pull up next to it and hit the R key. Yep, see nothing happens. I'm pretty sure that is 
Yep, organics. That's fertilizer. Okay. So we'll need to get some more seed. We'll get it in the pickup truck. We'll bring a couple more bags. For right now, let's just see what we can plant. Okay. So the cool thing about planting, like we said before, is that we have a little bit of money. We can hire a worker to plant that stuff. Oats grow really, really, really fast. So we have a half a seed. Let's just do that. So we're going to back up in here. And we're going to hit the space bar again. It sits canola right now. We want to unload that. And we're going to load in our, our oats. There we go. You hit B to start it up. V to, to set it down. And away we go. So let's go ahead. We're going to make about two or three passes all around the outside here. Um, and then we're going to... Uh, see if maybe the automatic guy can take over for a while. Our cedar is not very wide here, so it's going to take multiple, multiple passes for this big, huge field. But we need money. We need lots and lots of good money to be able to make some expansions here. We're going to really struggle without it. Okay. So we might do as we might, uh, we might sell our canola right out of the field and put this in the silo to get our maximum amount of money. We just don't know just don't know but here's our cedar we did it before we did it now so you see so we want to run the cedar as much as we can through here if we run out of seed what do we do we go back to the co-op with our pickup we pick up a couple of bags we put it in the back we bring it up here and we load it back in now if we turn around and we set this up so that somebody can automatically run this for us uh, an AI with his little GPS he pays for the seed the fee that he charges us he pays for the seed so we don't have to worry about that from him. But we've got big rocks in here and things. We can't do all of this. I will show you how to get rid of the rocks later. It takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of work. We can get rid of those rocks. So the whole field is just one good piece of uh, harvest. And that's all it is. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of make a couple little passes here with this. Um, you know, you don't have to go all the way to the edge. Okay, we're going to pick up the old cedar. Turn around the corner. Go around again. Back. Oh. Back it up. Put it back down. We're up to RPM. Just it. See, and there we go. Just like that. Up and back and up and back. So if we get this point here, we can pick H, hire, hire the HI, and I'm going to go ahead and let him run. When he, and he's going to do part of the field. He's going to go around the rocks. We're going to have to fill some of it in. That's okay. But go back and at this point and just let him do everything here. See if you can figure out how to make this seed, this whole field, all by yourself. This is the steps you need to take to get to this point. This is the hard work. This is where the farmer spends hours and hours and hours in the field because he can't afford to hire anybody else. Luckily, we have a, a GPS that we can hire on the tractor that will run it for us. We're very lucky. Our newer tractor has these capabilities. We just hired an, an AI worker, an automatic worker. So next time, we'll have it all seeded. We'll talk about fertilizing. Thanks for watching. This is Andy with Farm Sim for Newbies. Uh, I hope you enjoy our series here. Um, you probably would need to make another couple of runs down there at the bottom so it can get around. See, it's, it's doing okay. Sometimes it'll get stuck if you have not enough area between the bottom and the other part there. So please like, subscribe, leave us a comment, tell us how we're doing, and have a great day.